So far, when we were creating the WCS services, we took a single interface with the attribute service contract. But now, in this video, we'll cover creating the WCF service using multiple interfaces. Basically, the requirement of using multiple interfaces or I should say multiple service contract is like if you want to distribute the functionalities to differently to the different kinds of user. For example, if you want that within your company, you want some TCP protocol should be there so that only internal employees can access some of the functionality while you want to go for the HTTP protocol if you want to distribute the uh, service or any particular functionality to the multiple users around the globe. So you can create the diff two different interfaces in that particular scenario where you can use the different binding techniques with the different contract. So let's start implementing the WCF service having multiple service contracts into it. So to implement multiple service contracts, what I'll do here, I'll create an another interface with the attribute service contract and let's name it public interface users or I should say I users. So basically what I'm going to do here, it is going to use for the internal users so that they can retrieve all the employees whether the end user will use the methods like authenticate and welcome. So here what I'll do, I'll just prepare a list like list string get user names. Alright, so as you can see, this iUsers interface is con containing a method inside it called get usernames so that any employee working in the domain like the internal employee of any particular company can get the name of all the users whether outside the domain if any user wants to log in he will be having the methods like authenticate user and welcome user. So what I'll do now, I'll just come here and where I have already implemented, I will put I users interface as well. And to implement that, I will generate the interface right here. So what I have to do, I'll just return a new list kind of object. I don't have any right now, but yes, definitely I can go for a collection. I can prepare a collection of employee names and later I can return that from this particular function. As I said earlier, I'm not focusing on the other concepts rather than the WCF. So the single service class is implementing both the interfaces. Now, when we'll start working with the deployment of the services, I can go for different configurations for these different interfaces. Like for the I user methods, I will allow them to only to be used outside the domain that is using HTTP protocol and for the methods provided by I users like I users interface rather like get usernames it will be used by internal employees only like within the domain using TCP protocol. So this is how you can do the arrangements and now from the next video onwards we'll start seeing like how to work with the deployment or how to host the WCF services.